Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tony Honorific. Welcome to my 10th update video about my channel. Today I just want to talk about what I will be doing this week and the upcoming week as well. So yeah, let's go. Now, before that, finished games. WAS, The Hourglass of Lepitoptera, R Chronicle. That game was amazing. Ah, oh, I really love that game. It's RL. You guys did a really great job with a really great voice actor as well. And BGM was great. Ah, oh, you guys were really great. Just saying. And I really hope the second season will come out soon. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are actually working on the second season or not. But I really wish it does come out as soon as possible. It will probably come out in a Japanese version first. And yeah, if that happens, I'll probably buy the Japanese version. So yeah, just a heads up. Also, if I would complain about that game, it would be the voice of Tadayoshi. Now, not the voice actor, but the voice, the sound volume and the noise reduction on Tadayoshi because for some reason, you guys didn't actually do anything or do a voice reduction or do a like an equalizer on Tadayoshi's voice. It's like full on blast. And sometimes I hear the background noise in Tadayoshi. So, yeah, you guys should fix that. Just say. Yeah. Overall, it's great. And, dudes, did you guys know uh, Lin Chan and Yulia Chan is the same voiceover actress? I mean, damn! I did not expect that. Also, uh, did you guys know that, uh, Lise, or Lisulotte, the badass woman, the blonde girl badass woman, kind of like a snake's daughter? When I mean snake, the big boss snake, you know? Metal Gear Solid snake daughter, kind of looking girl? Yeah, well, snake doesn't have a daughter, but you know what I'm trying to say, yeah. The badass girl, and, uh, what's her name? Rosary, yeah. They're the same voiceover actress. Which I was like, damn! And because of this, I would say you guys did an amazing job. And if you guys do another Kickstarter, I'll support you guys for show. Yep, if you guys want to see this, uh, click on the video or the image somewhere on this video. And uh, it was great. If you haven't watched my video, I recommend you guys playing it. And now, let you guys know uh, that game is a kinetic novel. It's not a visual novel, but it has a visual novel feeling to it. Or, what am I saying? I'm trying to say is that it doesn't have different ending in a visual novel. It has one specific ending, and it just goes right to it. And if you went to the wrong way, it just leads you back to where you were, and it just starts over again. So it's basically a kinetic novel, which has a visual novel choice feeling. It makes you feel like it does have a different ending, but it doesn't. It has one ending, and yeah, just a heads up, because yeah, don't expect any other ending because there's only one. And please do play that game, because that game was awesome. Yeah, that is about it for WAS, the Hourglass of Lepitopter. Our Chronicle. I'll miss you guys. Seriously. Especially Yulia Chen. Ah. Ah. I will miss that game. God damn. Alright, next. Ongoing games. Oh, oh, fuck. No. No, no, no. I forgot about this. <laughs> I already forgot about this. Ah, this game, all right, finished game. Well, another finished game I did, yes. And I'm not proud of it, no. Another one is A Wild Cat Appears by New West, uh, what was it? New West Games, yeah. This game came out a while back. A while back as in like a week ago or so. And uh, on Steam. Around three bucks. And if they have a discount, it'll be like two dollars and what sixty nine cents or something. I don't know. Anyway, this game. No offense, 
but it's not worth it. It's not worth the time, I feel like. No. I'm, I'm sorry. And for those people who think that it's a great game, I mean, alright, that, that's cool with you. It's just my opinion that I really, really, uh, I don't want to say hate, but like, kind of mad about this game, about this production, about this, about this that is actually sold as a product. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I know this game came out two months ago on itch.io, and they sold it for three bucks as well. And I was kind of curious about it, but I didn't touch it yet until now. You know? And. Yeah, I understand why people are really pissed about this game. I mean, even the Steam review, there's a lot of negative. I understand. But. At least this game, and I'm constantly saying this because that's the only word I could think of about the positive part of this game, is that it it has its charm, okay? It has its cuteness, it has its charm to it, and it has that. I understand the developer put love into this game. They did at the beginning, at the beginning. I'm saying at the beginning, right? They actually put a lot of love into it. I feel like. However, I don't think they actually do the finishing touch at all. No, not at all. Reason is, there were a lot of mistakes. When I say mistakes, there's a lot of character mistakes, text mistakes, like which character saying what and such. And probably most people are complaining about our CGs, that it is not constant. It is not. Because they actually sell the game, right? And they actually show, you know, what kind of uh, image they have in the game itself. They actually show the good ones. Now, of course, they have, they have to in order to sell the game, I understand, but you kind of scamming people, you know? Kind of. I'm not saying you are. It's kind of like that, you know? Because people thought the illustration would be kind of, you know, good. Like what it was and what we saw on the image, you know? The screenshots and all, but later on, when you actually play the game, it's just... <sighs> yeah, the illustration is not... I mean, I understand the creator, the developer, uh, I forgot her name, Browner, I only know her last name, Browner, was it Keaner or something? I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't know, I forgot your name, but I understand you tried your best to draw. I feel like you either, I don't know what happened to you, you guys, but it's either Something happened with you and the artist, right? And you end up not able to finish the art. And, or not, not, even, not finish, I mean, you end up not able to obtain the art, the CGs, and you end up being drawing it over and then publishing it as a game. Or either that, or you had this time limit for some reason to finish the game. And you really ran out of time, and I feel like you just put lines and colors and shit into it. Yeah. Which made it really, really, no offense, but disgusting. Yes. Yes. Look, I understand you put, or you tried your best on the drawing, but just... It would be a lot more better if you took your time, okay? It would have been. And even though if you have this time limit, right? In fact, why did you even have a time limit? Like, was there, like, were you, like, challenging yourself or something? I mean, if so, that's cool. But if you, like, notice you ran out of time and end up 
not creating a satisfying game, then don't publish it or sell it. You know? It's just... It's just that I've seen free games, right? Free visual novel games. That it's probably worth the money to pay. You know? But seeing this as a product, it's just that and compared to other games that I saw in like... Just painful. It is. As a visual novel lover, you know? And I really wish you guys took your time. Yes. I really do wish. If you guys took your time, you probably would have done a really well job. Yes. If the CG itself was good, right? Good as in constant artist, constant art style, it would have been better. Yes, it would have been a lot more better. And the ending, if you actually didn't throw away the ending, and what I mean by throwing away, I feel like you just, yeah, really didn't give a damn about the ending for some reason. It's like, oh yes, it's a happy ending and we're done. Kind of deal. That, no, come on. You have to... You have to be creative of how to make a satisfying ending for the reader's point of view, you know? Ah. Oh my god, that game. And holy shit, I've been talking for 10 minutes about this game? Oh my god, sorry guys. You know, I'm gonna stop. So, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> this has been long. Oh my god, it's gonna end up being a, like a blog or something. My bad. Anyway. That is it. For, uh, not WAS. Uh, a wild cat girl appears. If you guys wanna see that, just click on the image somewhere in this video and I you know just watch it if you watch it you'll understand why how I am really disappointed in that game and I don't know if I will play their other games it seems good but once I saw the writing I don't know about it I know the CG will be good for sure right I know that but the art not the art, the, the story, I don't know. And I know the new ones has voiceover too, so it's probably way better. And I might try it. I don't know exactly when, probably not for a long while. But yes, I'll try it. And that is about it for A Wild Cat Appears. Oh my god. It's already like 13 minutes, holy shit. Sorry guys, I'm gonna move on. Yeah, alright, enough of this Wild Cat Appears. Alright, that's done. And I'm gonna put it in somewhere that... I will forget about. Yeah, that did not happen. Alright, moving on. Ongoing games. Time Tenshi. Uh, usual. It's on every Saturday and Sunday. 15 minutes long. And if you guys want to know why I'm doing it on weekends and why is it 15 minutes long, please check on the image somewhere below to see the reasons and such. And if you guys want to see Time Tenshi, again, just click on one of the images and it will lead to my playlist. Next! Blood code. Now this game. I know it's an Otome game, and I started playing it like six day now. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I love the artwork. I love the story. Or well, I don't know. I shouldn't say story. I love the flow of the story. I should say. Yeah, the characters are cute, and I'm excited. Yeah. And for those of you who doesn't know, Otome game is it's a game that. A girl goes after a guy. Romance thing. Yeah. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, sorry dudes. And if you're interested in those kind of stuff, come by and watch. Um, Blood Code will be out on weekdays, Monday through Friday, for show. Um, the reason is, that's the best day for me to actually put this game in my schedule. And that's about it, yeah. And apparently this game's gonna be really long. There's a little strategy and management to this. And I hope I'll do well. Yeah, I'm gonna go after uh, Christ Brudge, the redhead, green eyed boy. Yeah, yeah, I'll go after him. And right after that, I'm finished with Christ. I'll go after the fourth character because I really wanna try the fourth character. Yep, that will happen once I'm done with the Christ ending. So yeah, that is it for Blood Code. 
I hope you guys will enjoy those. And again, it will be out on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Alright, next! Submerged! Finally! I'm playing this game. Oh my god. This game is really beautiful. I really love this game. Um, of course, I, I understand for some people say this is not a game. Because this game is mainly for exploring. It's atmospheric. It's just... It's calming, you know, it's non-combat, and some people say it's not a challenge at all. For me, I love it. I just love the setting of where the game is, or where the world is, I should say, and yeah, it interests me. It calms me down, and I say it's a good game. Yeah, I love it, and you can make a postcard if you want to. So yeah, I think that was a cool thing. Yeah. And that game will be out every day for sure. And I'm gonna do it until I finish it. And it's getting interesting. Um, I don't know exactly what will happen to the girl, the girl as in the protagonist, but I hope she'll be alright. Yeah, because I feel like she's infected. Yeah, and I hope my little bro will be alright too. Yeah, I really hope. And you guys want to see some merch click on an image on this video somewhere and that is about it for some merch yeah next casual thursday visual novel day will come out tomorrow tomorrow as in thursday every thursday now i'm not gonna say what game i'll be playing because i want to be as a surprise you know for you guys and yeah oh and for those people who ask me what is uh, casual Thursday visual novel day is is that um it's a it's a day that I play a visual novel casually. It doesn't matter what genre it is or it could be any genre I could say. It could be horror, it could be romance, it could be mystery and such and such. So yeah. And it doesn't have to be a free game or anything. It's just that my feeling of you know casually playing visual novel. So yeah, I made that day some reason it's on Thursday so yeah that'll be out on every Thursday and I decided if I haven't finished the game on Thursday right in time then I'll prolong it till Friday Saturday and Sunday if I didn't finish on Sunday I'll start again or upload again on Thursday and it will repeat on Friday Saturday and Sunday until I finish so yeah that is it for Casual Thursday Visual Novel Day, and I hope you guys will enjoy that movie. Movie? Enjoy that video. Yeah. Because that will be out tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow, as in Thursday. Alright, next. Free Steam Friday! Eternal Sedia! Now, for those people who doesn't know what Free Steam Friday is, it's a day that I show you guys what's free on Steam. It could be a visual novel, it could be whatever that is free on Steam. And right now I'll be playing um, Eternal Senia. And that's a pretty good game. In fact, I am amazed that that game is a free game. Yeah. And if you guys want to try it, um, yeah, look in the description below. I'll post a link. So yeah, just click on it. And I say that game is pretty good. Um, they actually made it as an RPG maker. And yeah, I really love the mechanics. Like they actually show where the enemy will attack. Right? And then you gotta dodge and you gotta you know attack. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. And that will be out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until I'm done. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy Eternal Senia and click on the image on the video if you guys want to watch it. Yeah. All right. So that is it for ongoing games. Next, I would like to talk about upcoming games. Now. I was gonna play this game today, but I noticed I don't have much time because I'm kind of busy on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as well. Hopefully not. But yeah, I decided to prolong it and actually play this game on Monday, uh, January 18th. Yes. What game you may ask? I'll be starting a game called Fault Milestone 1. Now, 
I've been watching over this game for a while, and yeah, this game is developed by Alice in Dissonance, publisher Sekai Project. And this game came out on August 9th, 2013, so it's kind of two years and a little ago. Yeah, it's a visual novel game, and it has a similar feeling to WAS,、uh, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera, but it has a little more of a dark and a magic theme. So, if you guys are interested in watching it, that will come out on Monday, January 18th. And I am really excited to play this. Yeah, cuz I've been waiting for a time to actually, you know, play this game. You may ask me, like, why are you waiting for so long? The reason is, you know, sometimes work gets in the way and you get lazy and shit. Yeah. But no. No. Not anymore. I decided if I want to try it out, I'll try it out and enjoy it. And I hope you guys will enjoy the game as well. And if you are interested in playing that game,、uh, again, I'll post a link in the description below for you guys to, you know, go to the website. Yeah, and it's on Steam, so check it out. Alright, next. That is it for upcoming games. And now, I would like to talk about SMT, Shin Megami Tensei Imagine Online Japanese Server.、Um, I apologize for uploading that video really late yesterday.、Um, for me, it was. Yeah, I uploaded on, in the morning before I go to work. And hopefully, it was. It uploaded well. Yeah, and I do apologize for the late upload. The reason is, I don't know why, but my rendering went really slow on that video. And yeah, I actually. The thing is, I actually made a SMT video already. It was already made. And I actually rewatched it a couple of times, and I really didn't like the translation I did. Because. As you can see, there were a lot of translation and、um, subtitles. Yes, I actually took time on the subtitle to make it more、uh, close to what they're saying, you know? And there's one dude that fucking.、Uh, he, what's his name? Izol? Was it Izol? The fucking. The Seidu fetish dude. The one with the blue scale on his back? Yeah, that dude, okay. That took me a really long ass time to translate because it's.、Uh, he's a narcissistic douche. A snotty one, too. Yeah. And how he talks is just. I just don't want it to translate it. I mean, I did translate it, but it didn't feel right. It didn't. I don't think people would have understood what I wrote. So, yeah, that is the reason why I just delete it all and redo it again and just wrote, yeah, this is what he says. He's pretty much a douche. And <laughs> he just loves scales on his skin to be one with the Sadu, the, the demon god, or whatever, the dragon god, whatever. And yeah, that is the reason why that took so long. And I hope you guys enjoy that movie. And I do apologize for the late upload. So, About SMT or Shin Megami Tensei Imagine Online Japanese Server. Next one will be、uh, Chain of Curse Part 2. And I'll also show you guys what's new since the maintenance happened today while I was working, right? Yeah. And yeah, I heard there is a new stuff going on. The Coliseum is happening today as well. And I would like to show you guys what the Coliseum is like. And the new campaign that is going on in Shin Megami Tensei Image Online Japanese Server. So that is about it for today.、Um, I'm sorry that this upload, not upload, this, this update video is really long. It's like how long? It's like 24 minutes. Damn! That's my longest. Wow. Anyway, yeah, I do apologize for a long update video. It's probably because I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Talking shit about a wildcat appears and how I feel about the wildcat appears. Yeah, my bad on that. I didn't I didn't want you guys to. Never mind. Anyway, yeah. And that is it for today's update video.、Um, 
I'll probably make another update video on Monday when Fault Milestone 1 comes out. Maybe though, maybe. If not, then I'll make it whenever I have a time. So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.